separates a gravity golfer from the rest of the herd. The first thing that you'll notice about a gravity golfer when you spot them are the ease in their swing, the ease of their power and their consistency. You'll notice when you look at a player, a lot of times you go out to the driving range and you'll see people up there and you can tell that they're working very hard to swing the golf club. Most of the time when you see this, the results really aren't that great. But you'll spot people from time to time that look like they're not even working at it, but that ball just takes off and goes exactly where they're looking. There's reasons to that. It's, it's a swing that's working more within their body. You know, the physics really don't change at all. Uh, between a 300-yard drive to a 3-foot putt, the same things are still being applied all the time. You can't escape the physics laws. And it's about working more within your body. The more you work with your body, the easier the swing becomes. The less leverage you internalize, the easier that your body will rotate, and the softer, essentially, that your arms can be. You know, a player's potentiality. Uh, there are, there's, there's good players out there that have potential to become great players, and there's great players that have potential to become even better ones. Once you, get to the, once you get to the top level, all these guys, they, they all can hit it over 300 yards at any given time. And it is, when it comes to that level, it's really about who can do it more often. That's what's going to affect their paycheck on Sunday anyhow. But what you see with these great players, there's been a lot of great players that were not gravity golfers. But like I said before, you cannot escape the physics laws. The physics in this instant that you're dealing with, the main one being centripetal force. When you're throwing weight in front of your body, the weight of your arms, you could equal them to a dumbbell. So imagine if you've got 20 pounds of arms and you tie a 20 pound dumbbell to the front of your chest and throw it in front of you as fast as you swing a golf club, all that weight is pulling you forwards. Now what you'll spot in a player that's not using the gravity swing and they normally look like they're swinging harder. They do different types of compensations. For instance, one that is probably the most notable that you'll see, and I'll let you figure out who that is, is when they get to the top of the swing, snap their knee back in an effort to thrust their body backwards with enough force to offset the weight of their arms. Now this allows them now to clear the hips coming through, which is what happens to most all amateurs is they get to the top and because they're being pulled off balance, they're no longer able to clear and rotate and stay on plane. Now you see this in a ton of players. They do all kinds of various compensations from sliding their, their knees back and then around, as well as snapping the hip. You see uh, even Bubba kind of has this backwards swan dive, which is an interesting move, which has a lot to do with why he has such big movements. It's because he's making such a drastic compensation. But the difference with the gravity swing is when you get to the top of the swing, rather than fighting with it in the downswing, that centripetal force, you can get your body just drifting backwards to offset the weight of the arms before you start the downswing, which will allow you to make a very easy, effortless rotation. This is why it's so much easier on your body because you're not having to internalize force to offset that in the downswing. Gravity and the momentum going backwards has already done that and freed up your rotation. So think of Jack and Freddie, for instance, two of the best all-time gravity golfers. Jack made his way, his, his last major was at 46. Freddie is still out there performing fantastic, and they still had amazing power throughout, throughout their careers. And that is the kind of consistency that you'll find, is that if your arms are soft, you can get your body working together, everything can move with ease. And enjoy it for the rest of your life. Thank you.